time. We cast a spell over Lada's grave. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Mary, mother of mercy. And not even that helped. What? Do you mean to tell me it was all for nothing? Only the Lord himself can help me now. I'll need the parish priest. But why didn't you go and see him right at the start? What would he think of me? Herbalists have always handled ghosts. But now what other choice do I have? Go and ask him what I can do. Fine. I'll... You have my gratitude. Take a few gro- Assassin, eh? The old woman says you're fucking assassin on me? Well, ah, uh, kick his ass. All right. Ugh. Who's there?
What the hell? God be with you. There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. Can anything be done about that? A revenant? Tell me more about it. For the last few nights, her long-dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. That's why she's turning to you for help, Father. Hmm. In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only on the day of judgment. I suspect it may be something on the widow's own conscience that's haunting her. Do you know anything more about that? Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer whose wife burned him alive in his own cottage. My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's keeping the widow from sleeping. A farmer, a jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God, that never occurred to me. How little you know people. Make the widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord, tell her to erect an atonement cross. A what? You ask as if you've fallen from the stars. An atonement cross. You often see them along roads. Reminders of reconciliation and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the widow and see how she reacts. Thank you for the advice. It was very helpful. I shall pray for the poor woman. And I'll be grateful in turn for any donation she may decide to make to the church. I saw the parish pr And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house with holy water? A better question is, what haven't you been telling me? I've already told you everything. I feel you haven't told me everything. Is there something between you and Alois? I... There's no use denying it any longer. I was a widow and his wife, Lada. She wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. Alois and I grew close. So, fornication? If that's what you want to call it. From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Ladder found out and began to make a fuss. They fought. You know the rest. You couldn't have known it would end up the way it did. Perhaps I couldn't but I still reproach myself over it every night. For years now, I've been living with what I did. I suppose it's only just that it's finally caught up with me. My poor Alois and the children he left behind. I assume his children know nothing about it. They're already adults, but you're right. They don't know anything. Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? I think you're on the right path now. Make up for old wrongs. Atone for your sins. Erect a memorial cross. You're right. I'll go and tell them the truth, however much they despise me afterwards. I'll do anything to get a good night's sleep again. Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I'll do that. Thank you a hundred times over. <laughs> 